Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Nicola. If you are new, hey, how you doing? Thank you so much for being here. And if you're old, you already know what it is. Thank you so much for stopping by. Today's video, we are going to attempt to get this kind of double cut, double winged liner look. I'm not exactly sure the term for it. If I do find the proper term, if one does exist, I will make sure to put it up on the screen for you guys when editing this video. You will see where I got the inspiration from. You will see all the products I used. So if you're interested, stay tuned. Okay guys, so fall is usually the time where I bring back liquid eyeliner. During the summer, I tend to just stick to really fluffy lashes and if I'm doing any eyeshadow or eye looks, they tend to be really colorful, um, less away from neutrals, you know, really bright. Um, even if they are really simple, they tend to fall in that category. Fall is the time where I bring back the liquid eyeliner, the dark lipstick, the dark looks, the neutral eyes, the neutral colors. So today's look is going to be strictly eyeliner driven. So as you can tell, I already have on my base because I missed all of summer on YouTube. That's neither here nor there. But because I missed most of the summer, right now in New York, it is fall season. So once fall hits, I go back to my winter foundation routine. So if you wanna know how I did my base, I will link that video up here. I will link that video up here for you guys so you guys can check it out. And make sure to leave a comment down below if you want to see an updated winter foundation routine because I did tweak and change some things. Hello. So the other day I was scrolling through Instagram and Arnell Armin put up this Instagram look. Because of my lights, it's going to wash out my phone, so I'm going to make sure to stick a screenshot of it somewhere up here on the screen. But basically, the look was a simple cat eye, but the cat eye also kind of had a double crease thing going on there so I kind of want to see if I can mimic that and do that for you guys today okay so first under my eyes I'm gonna go ahead and use my Sasha buttercup powder I'm just gonna layer a bit of that underneath my eyeballs. So I recently did a fall look featuring the Take Me to Ibiza palette. Really, really love this palette. I didn't get to talk about how much I loved it in the last video because it was a voiceover and I didn't want it to be long. <laughs> but this palette is amazing, guys. 35 shades for $20, which really means each shadow is under a dollar. So I really, really enjoy this palette. And one of the things that I really like is the three transition shades they include in the bottom. This could be a little darker. Not gonna lie, but they do have a really pretty brown shade that I use as a transition, this brown one right here. I'm gonna reach for that peachy kind of color here. Okay, that's the general shape I'm gonna keep it. I'm just gonna go ahead and recreate the same thing on the other eye. Oh, this fan, y'all, is like saving my life. My central heat is on. Everything is on, man. I just want to layer a little bit of a shimmery kind of shade to kind of give the center of that eyeliner look a little bit more dimension. I'm going to use the same packing brush that I used for the first shadow, and I'm just going to take that and layer that color on top. Oh. That's not doing what I needed to do. We're gonna grab a completely clean eyeshadow brush and try this again. We'll try this darker one here. It's turning very sandy now that I've layered that on top of that and it might still look nice. It's just not what I originally planned, but you know it is full so it's time to bring back the neutrals anyways so i'm just going to repeat that and take that same dark brown golden color and layer that onto the other eye all right so now that i've gotten the base down or i guess what will be 
I'm so nervous, y'all. I feel like either it's gonna come out real nice or real funky looking, you know? Today's liner, or featured liner, is the Wet n Wild Mega Liner. It's their liquid liner, and it's one of my favorite liners between this one. NYX has a felt tip liner and ELF's liquid liner. I think those are really good, affordable, and great quality black liquid liners. And if you want colored liner, oh, that's a whole other conversation. But as for black liner, I definitely think this is one of the best in terms of affordability and pigment and how long it lasts, how easy it glides on, all that jazz. I'm just gonna start off by creating a regular old cat eye and then we will create the second winged part after. So we got one wing down. <laughs> I would definitely take a second and blacken up any spots that you see because one of the thing that I noticed, one of the thing, <laughs> one of the things that I noticed in Arnell's picture was that the liner was jet black. So you want to make sure that there are no pigments, no concealer, none of that peeking through. All right, so now is the tricky part. So the double winged part or the double liner part that I was talking about comes from this end and it goes over your crease and kind of stops in there. So we're gonna try and follow that line. Okay guys, what do you think? There's a little bit of funkiness in terms of like a little bit of splatter. So I'm gonna go back and clean up those areas and I'm gonna go off camera, do my lashes and the rest of my face and I'm gonna come back on camera for you guys. All right guys, so this is the finished look. I am really, really happy about how it came out. Another thing I've realized when finishing my makeup is that this look is definitely dependent on your eye shape. So because Arnell and her sister Alyssa both have really hooded eyes, a little more smaller, and a little more narrow in comparison to mine. The look definitely does look a smidgen different, so I would call this look very eye specific. A couple more things to bear in mind. I would definitely take my time and don't be afraid to mess up because I definitely had a more um, sloppy line, I would say. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this eye in particular was a lot more sloppy when I first did it. I just went back in with one of my smaller concealer brushes and cleaned up the ends. So don't be afraid to mess up. Still take your time and don't be afraid to go back in and clean up any areas in which you may have messed up, any splattered eyeliner or, you know, stuff like that. Last note to keep in mind, if you are using the Take Me to Ibiza palette, that was my first time trying to layer a glitter on on top of a mat and I was having kind of a struggle. So I originally went with this peachy base right here and I wanted to layer this really pretty pink peachy color on top to give it more of like a peachy creamsicle kind of look. Ended up going with this color underneath to give me more of like a, I call it like a cinnamon toast crunch kind of eye. All right guys, and that's it for today's look. I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you wanna know any information on the rest of my face, whether it be mascara, lashes, blush, lip gloss, lip liner, anything of that sort, make sure to check in the description box below. I will leave a full product list for you guys. Also make sure to check out my last video featuring the Take Me to Ibiza palette. I did a red and lime green fall inspired look. So I hope you guys really enjoy that. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with your peeps. And until next time, you guys, peace.